NVIDIA RTX Voice and Crisp are two noise cancellation software. In this video, I'm going to compare both and go over performance in various tests, software pros and cons, and then give my overall thoughts and my verdict on which one is better. I'll talk more in depth about each software in the software section, but to get it out of the way, NVIDIA RTX Voice only works on certain NVIDIA graphics cards, but it doesn't cost any money, and Crisp works regardless of what graphics cards you have, but it is a freemium model. Now let's start with performance tests. Right now I'm speaking to the HyperX Quadcast with no filters on. The recurring sounds in this room are my two computer fans. I have my main PC, my tower, and I also have my laptop that's on my lap right under me. So this is what it sounds like, and I'm gonna be quiet so that you can hear the fans themselves. All right, now RTX voice is enabled and the recurring sounds in the room are my PC fan from my tower and my PC fan, my laptop. So this is what it sounds like with RTX voice enabled speaking to the HyperX Quadcast and I'll be quiet. Speaking into the Quadcast, Crisp is enabled, laptop PC on my lap and the tower PC a little bit to the left of me. And here's what the fan sounds like if I be quiet. No filters on. In addition to my PC fans, I also turned the AC on and I also have the AC unit right outside and my window is open. So let's see how much of that you can hear and I'll be quiet. RTX voice is now on and I have the computer fans and also the AC, AC unit again. Window is open. So let's see how much of that you can hear and I'll be quiet. PC fans plus the AC unit is on and now I am using crisp windows open the AC unit is right outside speaking into the quadcast with crisp enabled and I'll be silent. All right, let's see if either of these programs can deal with noise floor. That is the just general static sounding hiss that you hear from microphones and audio interfaces. Specifically, the Razer Siren Elite has a really loud noise floor. So let me be quiet and see if you can hear that with just the Razer Siren Elite alone with no filters on. All right, now I'm speaking to the Razer Siren Elite with RTX voice on. So let me be quiet so that you can hear the noise floor. And now this is the Razer Siren Elite with Crisp. Razer Siren Elite, Crisp, and I'll be quiet so that you can hear the noise floor from this device. Now I'm doing a keyboard typing test with the HyperX Quadcast. I'm typing on my laptop's keyboard. HyperX Quadcast, no filters, typing on my laptop keyboard, and this is what it'll sound like. Speaking into the Quadcast, typing on my keyboard, RTX voice is turned on. Laptop keyboard, just typing on it, and RTX voice is on. This is what it sounds like. Keyboard typing test, crisp is enabled, typing on the laptop keyboard, and it is under the microphone right now. HyperX Quadcast, crisp is enabled, typing on the keyboard, and this is what it sounds like. No filters on. Now I'm gonna do some incidental noises. First bumping the boom arm. Now I'm gonna bump the desk. Now RTX voice bumping the boom arm first. Then bumping the desk. All right. Now crisp incidental sounds, boom arm first. Then we'll go for the desk. That's crisp. Now when it came to isolating my PC fan, both crisp and RTX voice did all right. I think that they cut out my voice a little bit too much and sometimes my fan kind of leaked in anyway. In fact, I've had better results using RN Noise, which is the built-in noise cancellation software in OBS. And I've had the best results using Audacity's noise reduction effect. And that's what I'm applying to my Razer Siren Elite right now. It seems like both of these software do better the louder the external noise is so it can really separate it from your voice. So when I put the AC on and I had the window open, both software improved quite a bit. I like them both for cutting out the really loud noise from the AC fan. Slight edge to RTX voice when it came to eliminating the AC fan. Keyboard typing, both of them did decent. I actually, from what I heard other people do it, they had better results. Both of them kind of got rid of keyboard typing a lot better than the test that I did. But for me, RTX voice did better. Crisp just kind of let in a bunch of them and RTX voice just left in a little bit less. 
For the noise floor of the Razor Siren Elite, Crisp was the only one that got rid of it. It got rid of it really well. It was still just chilling in RTX voice. I guess it couldn't really separate it from my voice. For incidental sounds like bumping the boom arm, keyboard typing, just like the AC fan, I give the overall edge to RTX voice. And the reason I give the edge to it is because I feel like it's a little bit of a less aggressive software. So what Crisp does, it seems to have like this really powerful noise gate where if, if you're not making a sound that's over a certain volume, it will just cut out that sound completely. So what ends up happening is it'll like cut out some of your words, like when you're speaking and you're done, like in the middle of words in your sentence or right after the sentence is done, or even before your sentence starts, it'll like cut you off. Now, RTX voice kind of has this like noise gate kind of thing going on too, but I think it's like a little bit slower to activate and deactivate. It doesn't go like, oh, cut it off, cut it off here. I'll be like, I'm going to the store like that instead of like, I'm going to the store. I think Chris cuts you off a lot more and Chris lets in some extra sounds. Like it did let in some keyboard typing. It did let in a little bit of like the AC outside, but it wasn't really that bad. I'd say Chris, as far as performance is not very far behind RTX voice, but RTX voice, I do give it the edge. But again, Chris was the only one that was able to get rid of the noise floor from this microphone self noise. So that's very good on Chris. Now, both of these softwares are pretty lightweight, so there's not a whole lot that I need to talk about in regards to them. So let me just go over some quick pros and cons. Let me start off with Crisp. Crisp is really easy to set up. Like you put in your email and then you download it. You don't even need a password. It just gives you like a little code and then you have it, but it is freemium. So you have to pay for more minutes. I didn't pay for anything. I just got the free version. It gives you like two hours over like a week or something like that. The problem is when you get the freemium model, you can only use it while you're connected to the internet. So you can't like record videos offline or like I have my laptop and my laptop's not always connected to the internet. So like when I didn't have it connected to Wi-Fi at the time, it just like stopped working. And it's always counting your minutes whenever Crisp is enabled in another software. So basically what the software is, both RTX Voice and Crisp, what they do is they create a virtual microphone. They use your microphone, you select your microphone in the software, and then in another program like OBS or Audacity or Zoom or whatever, then you would select Crisp or you would select RTX Voice as your microphone, and that becomes a microphone. It's like OBS virtual camera just for a microphone. But yeah, so if you're in OBS and you're like changing your audio settings, you're changing your mic. So what I actually did when I was recording, I selected Crisp, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go leave and get some food. And I came back and it was still counting my minutes. So I lost like 40 minutes and I was just like, I wasn't even doing anything. I wasn't even pressing record or anything. So that does kind of suck. But other than that, the software didn't give me any actual problems, which is a huge contrast compared to RTX Voice. Now RTX Voice, again, you download from NVIDIA's site. There's actually two versions of it. There's NVIDIA Broadcast, which comes with like a version of RTX Voice in it. I don't have that because I don't actually have an RTX graphics card. My laptop is a GTX 960M. Originally, RTX Voice only worked with RTX graphics cards. But then somebody made a mod that let it work with all NVIDIA graphics cards for the most part. And so now NVIDIA, they patched it. So now it works with a bunch of NVIDIA graphics cards. Specifically, it works with any NVIDIA GeForce, Quadro, or Titan GPU. So basically GTX or RTX graphics cards. But anyway, I bring that up because if you don't have an RTX card, you actually get RTX voice and you can use the NVIDIA broadcast version of RTX voice if you have an actual RTX graphics card. And the one that the actual RTX voice app though, that's like in beta. I guess it's like in permanent beta. I don't know if that's going to change, but they're updating the NVIDIA broadcast version. So this one actually still has a lot of bugs, the RTX voice itself. And the bugs were deal breakers for me. The first bug was out of nowhere, the mic just like went to like maximum volume. I didn't change any settings or anything. Just as I was recording, it like made this huge, loud, blaring, screeching sound. It was like totally distorted. It was like, like you can look this up like on Reddit and stuff like that. Other people have had these problems. It just comes out of nowhere. And imagine if you were like in a Zoom meeting, you were just talking, hey guys, I'm gonna present you. Play. Play. Everybody's just like, wow. It's, it's really, really loud. It almost like blew out my eardrums. So I was like, wow, that is like not good. So that was the first problem I had. The second problem I had, just as I was recording the test, RTX voice, the app crashed and I was like, oh, okay, whatever it froze, whatever. I'll just, you know, start it up again. And it would not start up. And I was like, okay, uh, I tried everything. You know, I tried to end it in task manager and all the different stuff like that. And I ended up having to restart my entire computer. So it can just do that. It can just distort like crazy. And then the only way that I was able to fix is I had to change what microphone was selected in RTX voice and then change it back to that microphone. But when it crashed, I had to restart my whole PC. It was like the Razer Keo Pro, like with uh, the uh, Razer Synapse, where you, if it if Synapse crashes, you gotta restart your whole PC, it's a wrap. So yeah, it's those are deal breakers for me. So I could never actually honestly 
recommend RTX voice for those two huge bugs, which I don't really think are going to get fixed because it's seems like it's like just gonna stay in beta i was almost about to say when i first heard that like distortion in my headphones i was like i can't believe this actually got released but i was like wait it didn't actually technically get released all right so now for my verdict on which one of these you should get or if you get either of them so there are a few different scenarios the first scenario is if you just have a pc fan and you just want to get rid of that like not that loud or maybe you have like noise floor like in your microphone it's particularly loud honestly i don't think you need to use any of these because I think both of the software kind of alter your voice a little bit. Sometimes they'll cut out. Sometimes like uh, RTX voice makes you sound like a little bit underwater sometimes. You know, they just alter your voice just a little bit when they're being a little bit too aggressive. So if you have like a relatively quiet sound like that, I think you can just use RN noise, which is built right into OBS, or you can use the noise reduction effect that is in Audacity. And you can really configure that. And it's really good. That's what I use for my Razer Siren Lee. That's what I use for pretty much all my reviews now. But if you have louder noises, keyboard typing, AC and you have like the window open stuff like that then I recommend crisp now maybe the Nvidia broadcast version on the RTX graphics cards of RTX voice is better but I like crisp because it just works it doesn't have those like crazy bugs like I said I do think that the RTX voice has slightly better performance overall but crisp works which is extremely important if you have like an important business call like zoom or you're like recording like really anything if you're streaming or anything like that you can't have like the app just crashing and you can't have it distorting your audio like crazy and you have to like restart your stream or restart your entire computer in the middle it's like nah it's not gonna work out okay bye